Aren't you gonna say anything? Almost 25 years of marriage and you have nothing to say? makes me talk more, you know, but I mean, but maybe that's good, you know, because maybe I'll just say it. Maybe, maybe I'll just tell you I slept with someone. David Lynn Hagen. From work. You met him at the Christmas party? The one Please with stop. The, the last person in the world that I want to hurt is you, If you keep talking, I'm going to get out of the I car. I think the fact that I did it, it just shows how broken we are. Oh, yeah. how, how much, how much we really need. Yeah. Please stop talking about it. Okay. Uh. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, you know, I should have knocked. For the record, I think about you while I do it. Robbie, I have this picture of you and I look at it the whole time. Stop it. I love you, Jessica. I am actually begging you to stop it. And I know you're 17, and I know I just turned 13, which is the same age as your little brother, but soon our age difference won't even matter, which is good, because I'm pretty sure you're my soulmate. Okay, um... Listen, Robin. We're home. Hey. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Weaver. How is... Oh, my God. Well, what happened? Mrs. Weaver said she wanted a divorce, and I jumped out of the car. Cal? Well, honey, the... Cal... Kids good? Everybody good? Dad? Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. I didn't see you standing there. You're getting a divorce? Well, yes. Uh, so, uh, Jess, did, did Molly get you dinner okay? Yes. Yeah, and you I jumped out of a um, moving car? Sweetheart? I did. I jumped out of a moving Cal, car. Did she fight you on the broccoli? No, she didn't fight you. She always fights me on the broccoli. I'm sorry I had to find out this way. I'm sorry you jumped out of a car. I'm sorry if she fought you on the broccoli. It's okay. Um, I don't have any money. Uh, sweetheart, let's, listen, let's go to bed, Why okay? don't you grab your coat? I'll drive you home. On, All right. 